Hey guys, welcome back to another Trick Tip Tuesday. And for today's tip, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about uh, how to um, pick a, a either a punching uh, machine or tool uh, based on what you need for your materials and that sort of thing. So what I mean by that is, um, you know, a, a common question, you know, when you see a punch tool like this, number 16 Roper Whitney punch here, is what's the maximum uh, size it'll do. What's the maximum hole to punch? What's the maximum material you can punch that hole through? That sort of thing. Well, uh, instead of it being a definitive, um, it is this hole size and this thick of material. It is all based on the tonnage of the uh, the punch machine itself. Uh, so this number 16, for example, is rated at 7.3 tons of uh, pressure, and that would be its maximum rating. So how to turn that into what size hole it'll punch. So uh, on our website, this is a, a print off of the chart that we have on our website. Uh, and this basically uh, is set up with whole, different hole diameter sizes on the one side, and then the uh, thickness of the material. And then by there, it's all calculated through the tonnage of how much, uh, or how, how many tons it takes to punch a certain size hole through a certain thickness of sheet metal, and that's how you would calculate uh, how you know and what the the punch is capable of. So, 7.3 tons. Uh, you know, you can, you know, it may sound like a lot, it may sound like a little, um, but it all depends on what material you're trying to punch through. So, this all on this chart is all based on mild steel, and then there is uh, some different. Uh, Basically, there's a multiplier chart on some of these other, um, you know, uh, tonnage charts that you may find around, and uh, we'll have that up on the website available as well. Uh, it's in our res uh, technical resources link on the website. So if you go to the home page, technical resources at the top, and you'll be able to look through and find the tonnage chart in there. So, you know, if you're doing aluminum, obviously most aluminum is softer than steel so it's going to take less pressure to punch the same size hole through the same thickness of aluminum as comparable to steel stainless might be a little harder different grades of steel uh, whether it's a cold draw steel or something like that maybe going up from there so um, it's all going to depend on what material you're punching so for instance uh, this is a 120 uh, 128 inch essentially uh, mild steel plate and we have a 3 8 punch in here. So in order to calculate that out to make sure that this number 16 punch is capable of that, we find the 3 8 hole diameter. And we'll move over here until we find the 120 wall uh, or material thickness. And we have 3.5 tons. So we know that this punch is capable of up to 7.3. So we are well within range of being able to punch this hole. Uh, and it should be relatively easy based on it only being about half of the capacity of the punch itself. So go ahead and slide this in here. And just for example sake, you can see how easily that punches a 3 8 hole right through the eighth inch mild steel. So um, something you want to consider is when you see a punch or you're interested in a punching machine, if what you're going to be punching and what you know you're going to be working with a lot is going to be operating in the maximum range, like right up near the top of what the machine is capable, uh, you definitely should be looking at something a little bit bigger for a punch because you don't really want to be, as with anything, you don't want to be buying anything in general and operating it at its absolute maximum capabilities all the time. So, uh, you know, if, if we were going to be... Uh, if we looked on the chart here, if we were going to be punching, let's say, if we wanted to try to punch a three quarter inch hole through uh, 120 wall, uh, eighth inch plate, uh, right here it's uh, showing us 7.1 tons. Now, this is rated at 7.3, so will it do it? Likely. Will it take a lot of pressure and a lot of strength to get it done? Definitely. Um, will it do that? hundreds of times over and over and over with no uh, flaws or no um, extra wear on the machine? Maybe not. So you always want to pay attention to the tonnage, what you're punching, and maybe punching the most of, you know, what your usage is to make sure that you buy the right machine uh, for the work that you're doing. So hopefully uh, this 
can help you out. Uh, you know, certain manufacturers like this chart here is a slide chart. It's got different readouts for the different punch sizes, and it gives you a line here with different numbers and such on it. This is from Scotchman. Uh, there's also one here from Edwards, uh, you know, and they both, both of these are uh, ironworker, you know, manufacturers. So, you know, they're going to have this spec out, uh, you know, and, and it's all pretty much the same information that's on our chart. Um, but a lot of times these comes with those machines. That way you can easily, uh, you know, pick uh, tooling that you need for your machine based on what you're doing and material thickness and all that. So uh, if your manufacturer has specific ratings and all that, make sure you pay attention to those uh, and it'll really help you out when you're doing punching work. So thanks for watching this week's Trick Tip Tuesday. Uh, email us your ideas, tips at tricktools.com. We'll see if we can get them included in these videos. And uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.